Right, so I'm out of hospital and I am, you know, back home. Uh, my leg is looking pretty neat. It has hurt, I must admit. And uh, in this next video, what we're going to do is show you how it looks now. So what I'm going to do is show you how it looks now. Um, the cleaning uh, that is required, the actual um, adjusting of the uh, the bolt or nut and bolt, whatever you want to call it, that um, is used to straighten my leg and uh, how it looked when I first came out of the operation and I was back at the ward and, uh, you know, just my general progress of over the last week. OK, and uh, here's my leg. This is how it looks like now. And look at my funky trousers. So what I've had to do is get hold of some. Well, my wife got some some uh, pajama bottoms from the charity shop and has cut it down for me. They need to be pretty big to be able to get over my leg. And here's my leg. It's looking quite neat, I think. I've already started to do the adjustments. So before I carry on, let's have a look at the progress over the last week. So I'm out of the operation. It took around uh, three hours and one hour recovery. What you can see here is the cage, the Lazarus cage, and you can see that it's I'm all bandaged up. Uh, I did bleed a lot, apparently, um, more so than the average operation. And you can see my foot is being held up there by a bandage. That's just to keep it straight. And there you go. It's important to keep the, the pin sites clean uh, and over the coming days uh, you need to make sure that the pin itself, the bung and the, when I say the bung I mean the plastic kind of rubber thing that keeps the uh, dressing in place, we need to keep that clean along with the wound, the, the exit and entry sites of the wound. In this video you can see that the specialist nurse is cleaning it for me for the first time, just while I learn what to do. Next, we will see how the fresh dressing is applied to the pin sites. Okay. All right, so three quarter cup. And just lays over your pin and then you push the bunny down to go on top. That Perfect. keeps your dressings in place without anything sticky touching your skin. Yeah, that's amazing. Because if you've got sensitive skin, which I think you have a little bit under this frame, then mm. you don't want lots of sticky stuff really being on top of you either, really, to be honest. So, yeah. Oh, God. And in actual fact... Okay, right, so this makes a lot more sense. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking... Oh, my God, how am I going to get those dressings round? <laughs> um, no, no, yeah. Plasters. No. And just generally kind of... Trouble getting it all back. Not this, basically. Yeah, I was thinking... Try and make it as easy on you as you can. And because these are foam, they actually soak up a lot of anything that oozes out your pins. Yeah. They're not sticky, so they don't necessarily stick to you. They behave quite well with the pins, actually, as well. Mm. So. And they let the air get to the wounds. So. Well, you want they... some air getting to the wounds, because, that, again, that'll help it all dry up. So. Sure. Remember how far you've got. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing the bigger ones because they've so got... The you, can you shake that? I want to put some antibacterial on it. Tommy. Use one of these per pin. Per pin. Yeah. Oh, oh no matter. But are you okay with this going huh? on YouTube? No. No. That's warmer because I just used the... The water. I'm quite squeamish. But actually, I'm not too bad right now. Last time I thought I was going to faint. And now I've got used to it. So, it's okay. uh, so what happened in this one? That's all gunky. I'll do that.
So what you're going to see next is me adjusting the mechanism on the Elizabeth cage, which actually is, you know, the part that straightens my leg over time. So I'm to do four adjustments per day, um, which equates to half a millimeter at a time, which totals two uh, millimeters of movement per day. I tried to spread it out over the day, morning, afternoon, or sorry, morning, midday, uh, early evening, and then once before I go to bed. Right, let's take a look. Right then, I don't know if you can see, but the bolt here has a two, you can see two little dots. So I think it's called a dice bolt, and it's got numbers on it, like a dice, but it's one to four. What I need to do is take my spanner oops, and turn that two to four. And then, which is half a millimeter. And then I take this bolt, turn it up and tighten it to the point that it's nice and tight. And what that's done now has that has moved this section just half a millimeter which i will do four times a day which makes two millimeters